Hey guys, Aaron here from Hippie Van Man, back with some more engine refurb uh, slash uh, bus refurb. So right now I'm uh, cleaning up all my engine tins as you can see. What we've done is basically gone over it with a steel brush, electric steel brush on a drill and then followed it up with about a hundred grit sand uh, to get it right down to the metal and uh, this is just one of the pieces as you can see there's quite a few more to go not all of them have been completely uh, cleaned up with the the brush and, and sandpaper yet so I'm gonna continue with that but uh, first I'm gonna get these guys soaking in some phosphoric acid now phosphoric acid essentially converts the rust as I understand into non-rust uh, I'm sure there's a technical term for it but uh, I'll have to google that after anyways after a long search at the hardware store and the Canadian Tire I couldn't find uh, phosphoric acid there is one rust converter product but it was really expensive uh, so I googled online where can I find phosphoric acid in Toronto and the first result was the Toronto Hemp Company. It's a head shop that specializes in bongs and uh, smoking supplies, um, as well as growing supplies. So uh, phosphoric acid is actually uh, acid that growers use to control the pH in the growing of marijuana or whatever, whatever you want to grow. Uh, so I picked up this uh, Dutch Nutrient 85% phosphoric acid at Toronto Hemp Company, 20 bucks for a liter of almost pure uh, phosphoric acid. Uh, after doing some research online, I'm going to dilute it down uh, to about a 6 to 1 ratio, so that's 6 liters of water to 1 liter of phosphoric acid at 85%, so it's actually more like... Uh, uh, I don't know, 7 to 1, 8 to 1 ratio. Anyways, I was reading you can do up to about 10. It just, the higher the ratio, uh, the longer you need to leave the parts in. So we're going to try with a 6 to 1 ratio. I think that should be good. The 10 to 1 ratio was supposed to be about a 12 hour wait to get the rust off. So uh, we'll go ahead and see how this uh, this goes. That's the last two liters. Ooh, should probably be using two hands for this. All right. So we got our phosphoric acid. Just gonna pour that in there, straight into the water. Acidy goodness. You'll notice I'm wearing gloves doing a nice controlled pour so I don't get acid everywhere. We're using a plastic container so the acid's not going to eat through it. Very important, you don't use metal uh, or other types of containers. All right. And I'm going to close that up. So yeah, let's dip in our first piece. Just going to plop it in there. Let's see, try to get as much under as we can and uh, check in and I'll update you guys.